learned a lot of shit about my girl when we moved in together. Uh, I learned she's a fucking psychopath. Uh, <laughs> just based on her Netflix queue. That's it. Just, I turn on her Netflix. It's just every type of serial killer documentary you could imagine. There's a guy who kills nuns, guy who kills hookers, guy who kills kids. Cooking show. Who watches, who watches six hours of serial killers and then British Bake Off to wash it down? How many of you ladies in here enjoy serial killer shows? This is why you don't like sports. I just want to let you know. Sports aren't violent enough for you. You'll be watching football, you see someone unconscious on the ground, and you're like, okay, but why is no one raping him? What's going on? What's going on here? I mean, you already have a mask and gloves on. No one's gonna know it's you. Put a dick in that fucking man. Make this entertaining, please. It's unbelievable. And you know the craziest thing about it is, it is like, you ladies will watch like serial killers and fucking rapists all the time, and it won't change your behavior at all. This is real shit. She watched this documentary about this dude who would uh, rape women who were jogging in the park at night, right? Horrifying, tragic, right? After watching the documentary, she went for a jog in the fucking park. <laughs> Bro, women are way braver than men. It's not even close to... If a single man in history was jogging in the park and got raped, we're not even jogging on treadmills no more after that. <laughs> Cardio's out the fucking equation. You pull up to the gym, you see your boy in the elliptical, you're like, fam, get the fuck off that shit! They raping dudes these days! Find a bench where your asshole's protected! Definitely don't go on that rowing machine, you just teasing them on that rowing machine. <laughs> And that's a fucked up headline, too. Nobody ever talks about that. But jogger raped? That's a fucked up headline, yo. Don't ever let that be a headline with me. Schultz was raped jogging in the park at night. <laughs> Schultz was raped jogging in the park at night. Motherfucker, rest assured. I was running as fast as I could. <laughs> Who's jogging, yo? You don't think I'm hitting the high knees? I got a rapist behind me, bro. There's a butt naked man with running shoes chasing me in the motherfucking park. I can hear his feet hitting the ground, dick slapping against his stomach. You don't think I'm tapping turbo a couple times? Schultz was running as fast as humanly possible when an Olympic rapist, a gold medalist from the Rape Olympics, it's probably Jamaican, they the fastest anyway, a Jamaican gold medalist from the Rape Olympics hawked him down and took that ass against his will even though he fought valiantly. That's your headline, you print the whole shit or nothing at all. My fucking family reads the newspaper. How am I supposed to go to Thanksgiving, my whole family looking at me like, yo, don't pass him the stuff, and he already had enough stuff. <laughs> I gotta bring the Jamaican rapists to dinner to clear my name, yo. Donovan, tell them what really happened in the park, yo. They don't believe me. Tell them what really fucking happened in the park. Please, tell them. My mans was running as fast as humanly possible. Some might even say it was cool running in that park. But I made them feel the rhythm. Feel the ride. I got you, white boy. It's butt fuck time. Y'all are cool. Man. What up, guys? The only thing better than gambling is gambling with someone else's money, and that's what Bet Online is dumb enough to do. I don't know why, but the most trusted online sports book is actually giving people away money to gamble with these idiots. But I'm gonna help you guys. BetOnline.ag, use the promo code Andrew, they're gonna match 50% of your first deposit up to $1,000. That means you put a grand in, they're just giving you $500, these baboons. All you have to do is go to bet online and use the promo code Andrew before these idiots cut that thing off. Go!